quick disclaimer, um, if you didn't watch my December plan with me, you wouldn't know that I am currently at my girlfriend's apartment and there are cats. As you can see, there's one of the cats, there's another cat behind my tripod, he might bump into it later, he might knock it over later. <laughs> there's another one, Phoebe, she might come by later, lay on my lap. Um, so if you see cats, those are the cats. And this is not where I normally live. Also, this is not where my girlfriend will be living for... Um, she moves next week. So, this is a temporary location. Also, I am drinking water if you're curious. I don't know why you would be. That's all I had to say. <laughs> Welcome back. My name is Alessandra, but you can call me Ali, and this is my channel where I make videos about going to art school, which is what I'm going to talk about right now. So, I... Two weeks ago? Maybe three weeks ago. I think it's only been two weeks. Um, just finished my fall quarter of my junior year. I go to SCAD, the Savannah College of Art and Design. I attend the Atlanta campus and I am a painting major. Currently an illustration minor, but I'm switching over to art is I'm switching over to art history as soon as I can. So today I just kind of want to talk about the quarter that I just had, but more specifically I want to talk about the paintings that I made and the progression of my paintings throughout the quarter. And then at the end sort of I'll go through the classes that I took this quarter and the professors that I took them with and uh, my experience in those classes. I will put timestamps in the description so that if you don't care about a certain part you can just skip it or if you do you care about a certain part you can just get to it if you want like all of my art all of the art that I've made at SCAD I do have my portfolio on my website which I will also link below which has a lot of the paintings that I have made since I started my painting major I do also have some videos showing my previous work like drawings and stuff before I started my painting major which I will also link um, but I'm not going to make a full video on my entire portfolio from SCAD until I graduate, which will be next year. So this is my... This is my fourth painting class, I guess. I've been taking uh, classes in my major since the beginning of last year. So since the beginning of my sophomore year, I've been taking painting classes. Most of my time my sophomore year was uh, sort of building up the skill and building up technique um, that I would need to make solid paintings. So it was a lot of like learning how to mix paint, learning how to work with acrylics, learning how to work with oils, learning how to paint still lives, learning how to capture color and light and texture and painting people. So this year it's a little bit different and it's less about learning the technical aspects and more about growing like the depth of your work. This class that I just took was called Visual Narrative and Myth Making. So it was essentially about creating a narrative within your work. Painting a narrative or a story without trying to be an illustrator is very difficult because that's what illustration is. It is painting a story or drawing a story and we're trying to get away from that so it's a little bit difficult. Um, little backstory, I did not paint it all over the summer. Um, I meant to, I had lots of ideas, I don't remember them anymore, <laughs> but um, I had the full intention to paint over the summer so that I would not forget any of the skills that I had learned the previous quarter over the three month break. I did not paint, so I did forget all of the skills that I had attained over the previous quarter. So coming in for this class, I didn't remember how to paint and I didn't have an idea of what I wanted to paint. Coming into visual narrative and myth making, um, my professor wanted us to come up with a theme at the beginning to inform our work throughout the entire quarter and I didn't have one. So my plan was just to paint and hope that something came out of it. And really, I just wanted to get started and work out all of the kinks um, from not having painted for three months and not remembering how to paint. So I chose three small canvases and decided that I would paint like abstract landscapes and try to create a sense of depth and space on the canvas. So I did the three small canvases. I liked two of them, so I got rid of <laughs> the middle one and that was that and then I didn't really know what to do after that. 
So I thought I would keep going with the sort of abstract kind of landscape. My professor suggested looking at, oh, I can't remember his name. I will put him up on the screen, but he suggested looking at a certain artist that does a lot of abstract landscapes. So I thought that would be really cool to play around with and take inspiration from and see if I can still create that sense of depth on the canvas but creating more of a literal landscape but still using abstract and organic forms. So I did that. I struggled a lot with that painting. I had times where I really loved it and times where I really hated it. I really liked all the pinks and reds and purpley magenta-ish colors when I was working on it and then by the end I hated it. <laughs> I liked a lot of the elements separately and then I didn't like them together and then I liked them together and then I didn't like them separately. It was just, um, I had a lot of mixed feelings about it. And again, I didn't know where to go from there. I had no clear direction. For the third painting, I, my professor suggested, um, since I was working with this idea of space and creating depth, I was sort of sort of working with this idea of distance within the canvas, within the space on the canvas. Um, and he suggested sort of branching off of that and trying to represent distance in a different way. He suggested like distance between people or distance between locations and how that distance feels and trying to paint that feeling. I decided to paint distance between people um, just and distance within relationships. I'm not going to talk about the specific relationships that I painted because I don't want to. Also, I think you can look at a piece and bring your own experience, like knowing it's about a relationship and knowing the, is the, I think the lighting's changing, I'm sorry, and knowing the um, qualities of the relationship that were informing the painting, I think you can bring your own experience with specific relationships to the piece and understand it that way. This piece was inspired by... I wouldn't say it was inspired. No, it was inspired by... It represents the relationship with someone um, that you want to build up, that you... it's a person that you want to communicate with, um, but over time you're not really getting anywhere with that relationship. Um, your communication is just kind of like bad. It's it's fuzzy, it's murky, it's not very clear, you don't really know where you stand with this person, and conversations seem to take you absolutely nowhere. So I painted this piece like I was having a conversation with a specific person, imagining the way our conversations normally go, the way um, our relationship has really felt to me, um, and painted it in that manner. So I thought using the paint as a way to have a conversation would be really interesting. So I would lay down liquid, which is the medium that I add to my oil paints to thin them out but also make them dry faster. It also makes them really shiny um, and also helps smooth over the... It also helps smooth over the texture of the canvas. But if you lay it down first and then put the paint on top, first it um, provides a really smooth and slippery surface so you don't have to deal with the canvas texture again but also it um, sort of dries the paint a little bit faster but like as a whole like the whole surface dries at sort of the same rate so at the end part of the paint is already dried it's already on the canvas but if you take a cloth and wipe it down you can get rid of most of it um, so I thought that was an interesting way to build up layers and sort of stimulate building up really weak conversations. <laughs> um, it felt like I was applying the paint, I was taking forever to really carefully apply paint, carefully apply colors, they were thin and I was building it up as I layered and then I would just wipe it away and it would be like I was getting nowhere. You get it. I don't know if it was a certain critique that I got during critique, or if it was something that my professor said, or, for, or if it was something that I had been noticing for a while and just sort of came to terms with, but there's not a lot of, or there hasn't been a lot of vulnerability in my artwork um, at all, because I don't like to do that. <laughs> people always talk about how their work is like a way for people to connect to them. It's a way of like 
being able to look at that person in a different light, a way to show themselves in a different light, um, a way to express emotions that they otherwise find difficult to express. And I've never done that, so I think that it was a really interesting turn to take. And I wanted to keep that going with my final painting. Um, if you have seen some of my recent vlogs, I guess there was only two. I did a day in my life and then I did my finals vlog. I think my big painting that is rolled up behind me right now was featured in a few of those. There's also a little time lapse little time lapse video on Instagram that you can see like the process of me gessoing it and doing the first layers of paint um, if you're interested in that. But um, I didn't really get a lot of it in the vlogs because I worked on it a lot of the time at the school and I'm not going to vlog during class. So this was a much larger painting. My professor had been telling me the entire quarter to work bigger because I was cr trying to create like visual space and it's kind of hard to do that on a small canvas and I understood that but I also wanted to experiment with different size sizes of canvases and how that would affect the space that I was trying to create but uh, I knew I had to go bigger and I also wanted this piece to be a lot more confrontational. We're trying to achieve vulnerability and now we're gonna go really big and do it. So this painting is a lot, it's like the opposite of my previous painting, which was a difficult relationship, a difficult conversation to have, a difficult form of communication or complete lack of communication really. Um, like, I think there's a huge sense of discomfort in that piece, and then this piece was the complete opposite. It was um, a comfortable and a good relationship, and easy communication, easy conversation, brighter conversation, more open conversation, <laughs> um, just all around um, better. And that's what it looks like. I'm really happy with the final painting. I love it a lot. I adore it. And I, I actually, I really like all of the paintings that I did make this quarter. It was hard because I've never worked in such an abstract way. And I don't know if I want to continue it or if I want to sort of step back and go back to realism. I don't know if it's because realism is more comfortable for me, like it feels safer or if I, I feel like I kind of want to combine the two, but I don't know how I'm working on it. I have this idea of like creating a series of work that's like things I want to say to either specific people or to a large group of people or just like things I wish I could say in general. Um, and I think that would be really interesting because I think I could do that both in an abstract way and a more realistic image based sort of way, um, but I don't know. I'm gonna play around with it a lot more. <clears throat> but those are the paintings that I made over the last quarter. I'm really proud of my work. I really think that I have grown a lot since I first started. But now on to the other classes that I took this quarter. Um, if you don't know, the way that Sky works is you take three classes, unless you're a part-time student, then you take two. You take three classes a quarter. We have three quarters in the year. And then there is the summer quarter, which is um, optional. Miss Lizzie, she's just gonna sit in my lap now. Um, the class that I took, I took visual narrative myth making, which was my studio class, my painting class. And then I took um, American art history. And then I took an online business class. I had my painting class on Mondays and Wednesdays, and then I had my art history class on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and then I just did my business class whenever I could. And it was awesome. <laughs> it really makes your schedule a lot easier, and it gives you more time to work on your stuff and allocate um, how you want to work on different things. That was really nice. It really made the workload that I had this quarter a lot easier to deal with. I wouldn't say it was any lighter than it usually is, but um, it felt more doable. My art history class, I loved. I love art history and I love this professor. I've taken her my entire time in art history for the last three classes that I've had. Um, professor Cadigan, she's amazing. 
I love her teaching style and um, I love her testing style. I mean, there were parts of American art that I hated because it's American art. If there's parts of American history that you hate, there's going to be parts of American art history that you hate. Um, and then the other class that I took was online business. I actually ended up liking online business a lot more than I thought I would and I think that's because I want to sort of build up my own business. That's sort of what becoming an artist is like unless you are going to work for a company, like you are going to be a graphic designer for a company, an advertisement person for a company, an animator, an illustrator, a storyboard artist. I don't really have a lot I want to say about that. My professor, uh, Professor Fisher, Tara, I think, um, she was really nice. The beginning of online classes, I think, is always tricky because there's not really, without the professor there and without um, having that like actual connection with the professor, I think it's harder to understand exactly what you're supposed to be doing in the class and what's expected of you. So like my first assignment, I got a 50 on because I just did not know what to do. Um, but I did bring my grade up. I could have brought it back up to an A had I worked harder. But at the end, I got tired, so I sort of started slacking. Um, but I got like an 86, an 87 or something, I think. So a high B. Um, really pulled it up from a 50. <laughs> um, but yeah, the beginning of online classes is always hard for me. Um, it just takes a little bit of adjusting, and then it's not really that hard from that point on. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. I had a really good quarter, I think. I liked all my classes. I liked all my professors. Um, there have been times where I have hated classes, and I, I don't think there's been times that I've hated professors. I've liked all of my professors so far. Yeah, so <laughs> that was my quarter. I hope I covered everything because I did not have notes. Um, didn't really know what I wanted to cover when I started, but um, that's everything. That is a look at the art that I made this quarter, and that is a little review over the other courses that I took. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a good amount of information if you were looking for information. I will have everything I think that I said typed out in the description. I will also have a blog post up at this point, so I will link that below. Um, and if you have any questions either about the classes that I took, about my artwork, or about the school, about the campus, um, you can go ahead and comment below. You can find me on Instagram and DM me. You can email me. My email is linked on my website if you want to do that. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm doing Vlogmas this December, starting on Saturday. Um, so I don't know how that's going to go. <laughs> um, hopefully it goes well. Hopefully I do all of it. When I did Inktober, I didn't do all of it. If you want to watch my Inktober video, I will also link that. Um, but I think it's going to go well. I am pre-filming, so hopefully I have a good amount of videos to upload when I can't, like, vlog. Um, but yeah, um, if you want to see that, stay tuned. Um, if you want more videos about my art, or about me, or about my school experience, or about my life experience, because I kind of just do everything, subscribe. And, uh, you'll get more of that content, because I'll keep making it. Even if you don't subscribe. Alright, <laughs> thanks for watching and I will see you again very soon for 24 days in a row. Yeah. Bye. Bye. You do have to get off of my lap though because I have to turn the camera off. Yep. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't claw me. Alright. Yeah, I know. I gotta get off. Say goodbye, Miss Phoebe.